Hey YouTube, this is Kinky Curly Beauty coming to you to show you how I am removing excess oil from my hair. I have done um, braids, well plaits all over. I left this portion to show you what I'm going to do. Uh, but on last night I applied a leave-in that happened to be very oily and it left my hair and everything that my hair touched very oily and wet all throughout the day so I couldn't wait to get home to um, find a remedy for this so what I've done I have my aloe vera juice and water and I'm applying my sample of my Giovanni tea tree triple treat invigorating conditioner and of course my ORS smooth and hold pudding so what I'm going to do Take this. I'm spraying each section with the aloe vera juice and water. And then I'm working that in. Once I get that all through, throughout the hair strands, I am applying the conditioner. And I'm doing a healthy amount because the conditioner and the aloe vera juice soaks up a lot of that excess oil. So here I'm apply, applying the tea tree conditioner and I'm just taking it through and making sure it gets on all of the strands. And then I'm going to part it and apply my ORS smooth and hold pudding. And I'm just going to put a tad bit because I don't want a strong hold, but I do want nice definition. So I'm taking it through. Detangle and then I'm going to plait the hair up. And in the morning, it will be dry and I may possibly come back on in the morning and show you the results. And I'm not curling or putting a roller at the end, I'm just Manipulating it with the comb a little to give it a little curl and I'm leaving it just like that. I'm parting in, I'm parting in smaller sections that I normally would part because I want a tad bit more definition than I had the last time I did this. Okay, I've already got my leave-in conditioner and the aloe vera juice on it and I'm just going to put a little bit just a little a little bit of my ORS smooth and hold pudding saturating the hair really well and then I'm going to comb it out 
I know typically I'm not supposed to use this rat tail comb, but when I'm doing something that requires small sections of hair, I really don't mind using it. Smoothing the hair as I go down the braid. And for my hair, if I have one part that ends before the other small sections of the plait, I just stop and just do a, a manual finger curl and just leave it like that. I don't try to borrow hair or... Um, take it down and start over. I'll just leave it right there and just finger coil it and be through. And this is my last little section. Same little cream. Now this section is a tad bit larger so I put a little bit more at the end. Comb it out. Excess off of there. And that's it. And in the morning they will be dry and I will take them down and show you the results. Okay, let me turn around, do a 360 so you can see um, all of the plaids. I try to always keep something in the middle because I hate that middle part in the back. And these parts, normally I try to break layer, but I had a big oily mess, so I just started parting. No particular form or pattern. And this is it. I will come back in the morning with the results. I hope you like. Please subscribe. And please have a wonderful Tuesday night. Bye. Okay, YouTube. It is now the following morning. And this is my hair. I've left two of my plaits for you to see the takedown. I did not apply any oil or anything else to my hair this morning because I remember on last night I was removing excess oil. So I still have lots of oil in my hair. Therefore, there's no need to apply any more oil. I'm trying to figure out if I want to continue to separate or will I just leave it like it is. Um... I may separate a little in the front because I have one, this one, that was really chunky. And as you can see, it didn't get as dry as the other hair. So I'm just going to open it up. Butterfly these, just opening and leaving it like that. Just holding the hair. 
and spreading it, leaving the tip closed. And these are the results from my last night's braid out. I'm going to turn around so you can get a look at the 360. And this is it. I hope you like. Please subscribe and comment and give any advice or any suggestions that you like. Have a great day.